So good morning everybody, you're watching Nickel with Holstein's YouTube channel. It's Saturday morning, uh, it's a big morning. Jared and Abigail got a ski race. Yep, you do and, too. Well, I don't know if it pays for me to compete, but <laughs> <laughs> anyhow. We are at the farm, obviously, and I got breeding shots to give and hospital cows to take care of. And Jaron's gonna go do some pushing up a sand mm -hmm. that we got. Uh, and he'll explain to you why, he's, why we have the big pile of sand back there. So, anyhow, it's the way it is this morning, right? Yeah. So is what we got here is um, breeding shots to give. And this is our list of shots for this morning. So this would be our pen one, and this is pen two, pen three, and pen four. This is the little ice on the top and the GNRH in the bottom, so there's nobody for GNRH in pen one. But I got pen three done before they went to the parlor. I got pen two and four locked, and I never locked pen one because there's not many in there. And actually, I wouldn't have to lock any of them, but I usually go around the back first. And, uh, well, it depends how many is locked. Sometimes I go around the back first. And other times I go down the headlocks first and get the locked ones first. But these uh, are just going to sink them into heat so we can breed off of them. And then after that, we will rely on our SCR collars to catch them in heat if they're not pregnant on that first one. And that will tell us when they need to be, when they need to be bred. So anyhow, that's what uh, I'm going to do. So I got the little lice. It's in a 2cc gun here. And then the GNRH, let me keep that in my left side. The GNRH is in little bottles, and I just use a little three three and a half cc syringe. And I use a three and a half cc syringe, get two cc's out. It all goes in the muscle, so cows don't really mind it. So right here is our sand pile. And the reason we got so much sand right now. Actually, there's more on the other side of the barn. But it's because of the row bands are probably going to be coming on shortly. And where we get our sand from, everyone's using it right now. So we got 71 loads. There's some here and then there's some on the other side of the barn. But uh, this will last, uh, 71 loads will last 10 weeks. So I just got to push it up and because uh, Steve needs this room over here for feeding. And he's feeding right now, so I have to use the loader in between his batches. And yeah, we'll just push it up. So I went down the feed alley first and just kind of looked at the cows. I only found four. So now I'm going to go down the back alley. So let's start here. And uh, look for numbers. It's best just to be quiet. Stay calm, let the cows lay down. Don't get them all up and riled up. Like even now that I'm talking, they're starting to get up because they're not used to this. People talk to them themselves to a camera. They wonder what's going on. What's wrong with this guy? So anyhow. Just me talking to myself, it's getting them a little bit more excited than normal. They're just looking at me like, what is the matter with this guy?
Put a new needle on for everyone. So now I got all the sand pushed up on the pile here. It's nice stuff. And now I gotta go over there and push in some sawdust we got. Yesterday was a lot of there was a lot of loads coming in this farm. And I will head over to the other side of the barn and show you guys that other sand pile. But for now, while Steve's mixing and I can use the loader, I'll go push in that sawdust. So we are down to one cow, 11.57 in here in pen two. So I was just thinking about something. We have what, we've talked about before, the SCR collars on the cows. That's the illumination and um, activity device that's on their neck right here. It's like this, this monitor and it tells you like cud chewing and how active they are. And that tells you whether they're sick or whether they're in heat or what the deal is. But the new ones that we're getting are these ear tags, these blue ear tags. And the fun thing about those, Zach, is if we had all of those, we could put their numbers into the computer and there's actually a, a red LED light on those and they flash. So like any cow that we need to do anything with, we'd put it in the computer, we put their number in and they would just flash red. So we would know that that's one of them. There's another cow over here with one of them. But we're putting them in a lot of the first lactation animals because as the collars go bad and life expectancy is only like five years on those. Hopefully we'll be all ear tags in a couple, three years. We'll see, it might take longer than that. But for now we can't use that red LED light because there's too many cows that don't have them. So it's kind of pointless. But that's just a, something that we're looking forward to. So we got one cow left, 11.57. Here comes Steve with the mixer. We'll look for her as we walk down through here. She probably knows where I'm at, but I don't know where she's at. Here she is. Playing right there. So this will be our last drill here. Oh, oh, oh. Finish. Painless. So we're done with pen two, done with pen three. Now I just gotta go do pen four and then pen one. There was like six of them or something on pen one. Not very many. So right here's our other sand pile. It's right, right in between the two barns. It's not quite as big as the other one, but there's a lot up there. Yeah, so here you can see right in between the two barns and that, so. Not much over here, but this is right where Rodolfo will bring it into the barn. He just opens up that door and drives in. So, yeah. Okay guys, so we're in pen four. I've got one cow left in here now. And Steve's down there coming with the fourth batch. Just got them put water in. And he's gonna be feeding that out to pens two, three, and four. Actually, I found my last cow, she's right here, 1037. So, get her done. done. Shots are done. This 919 just had a calf last night and she didn't clean yet. So I just got done giving her an extra bowl of cow. We've got uh, a busy morning in the calving department, it looks like. One had the baby already, and that was a heifer. And then we've got this other one, I think her number is 2033. We were gonna show, Abigail was gonna show this one as a little britches calf one time. It's a really nice heifer, she's a dot. Hoping she turns out really nice, but she's being fresh. She's being mm. fresh right here. So we'll leave her alone so she can have the baby. 
and we got to go get the Austin pressure washing on the skid steer that we got a hydraulic leak on and we need to find it but we got to clean it first so that's where we're headed so I just keep you here, that hydraulic leak and Austin's pressure washing 